Hello everybody, welcome to game number 9 of Undead Over Explained, up against Nurgle here. 30 TV down, only one thing to get is an assistant coach. Um, can look at his team here. He's got a guard stand firm beast, that's called a rot spawn now. Some block bloaters, a mighty blow, a block sure hands, a wrestle. He's randomed everything and got lucky, hasn't he, I think. Played eight games. Glorious. No, yeah. I won't give in. The, they've Until just got a random wrestle and a random block. And I will defend. I will defend. And a, a Pestigor got a random block or sure hands. Oof. Oof. That sucks for Jim. He's got a very good team of eight games. Um... Anyway, then this is ours, a block guard, mummy, guard, mummy, guard, sneaky get dirty player, and some blocks. I mean, to be fair, maybe the uh, maybe the sneaky get dirty player might just win the game. There is a chance that the sneaky get dirty player just wins. And Hotspur, 12, thank you very much, staying fantastic for nine glorious months. Thank you so much. Obviously, win the toss, so receive, try and bang them out. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Punter. Yeah, yeah, I like the dice and stuff. Yeah, things can things can happen. Do all of the banging. Yeah, he's scared of the banging look. He's put everyone he's put everyone away. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be a little bit He's won seven lost one, right? And he's got a lot of skills, so I'm going to be a little bit sensible and uh, think about winning the game first and foremost. So we don't have to worry so much about a, um, a blitz because it's an ergle. So we can put all seven on the LOS here and get the three dice to start us off. Um, the blockless mummy hitting the guy with block so that the block can hit the guy, the, blo the block players can hit the players without block and the blockless player hits the one with it. Um, this guy has strip ball so we can blitz him um, as the blitz rather than this guy's wrestle which is a less desirable blitz target yep yeah seven seven zero one with Nurgle is pretty amazing yeah a vicious ref stuns a zombie and stuns him but that's okay now we get the block outwards that's all right along the line. Nothing else to do. Push him there. We can blitz with the uh, zombie. Put him there. Do you want to protect this ghoul a little bit? So count up the squares for him. And then 
put it miles away. <laughs> no, um, one, two, three, four, five. Let's put him like here. One, two, three, four. Get one more. What's this? Because we get the power, we keep them based. And bring them back. To protect against being threatened with a surf. There's actually no reason to stay behind these, right? You can't run around and do anything, so might as well just go forward. No reason not to. Better to be closer to the opponent than not, right? Gives you more options. Yeah, they should be destorted, but the, the thing is, poker is like that because there's money in it. <laughs> there's not money in, in, in Blood Bowl, is there? Who's going to lose the money to make sure it happens? To what end? You know, like, they, it, you, you need somebody who's got plenty of money, who who just wants Blood Bowl to be more popular. Right? That, that, that's what you need. You need, you need, like, basically an eccentric, an eccentric millionaire. <laughs> Or billionaire. <laughs> I mean, you don't need billions. You just need you just need an eccentric thousand there. Probably millionaire actually. You probably need an eccentric millionaire to just like to just take an interest in football and uh, get things happening. Boy, howdy, it's time to get rowdy. Losing my blitz here is going to suck, but I have to do it. Standard. So annoying. Maybe I shouldn't have done it, right? Maybe I shouldn't have done it. Um, two assist foul. That exposes my guy. Probably should. Maybe it should have blitzed him, and then I could have blocked him as well. But then, uh, then there's a really gaping hole, isn't there? Right, let's cas him. Never lucky. Well, that's very annoying, isn't it? Oh boy. This is a disaster. This is an absolute disaster. <laughs> this is an instant absolute disaster. That that blitz fail was so bad, right? If this guy's powered, then both of these guys are safe. Instead, he's just going to get instantly flattened. And now the rot is on... Well, the beast is on strength three players that can't hit him. And it's just all a disaster. Absolute disaster. Maybe I had to re-roll that blitz, honestly. Maybe I had to re-roll that blitz. That was a very annoying foul appearance. Yeah, 
he just bases everything. And oh my god, my best player is just out of the action. Very annoying. Right, so this, this zombie can come in here, can't he? So he has to do that. So I get three dice. Three dice is good. And then he can protect him a little bit. Oh, he's got guard. Flip me. Oh, God. He can blitz him. He can uphill him. Okay, I can ball blitz. This is pretty risky in terms of it, you know, being my ball carrier, but also it's not that risky, right? Like, it's only a 1 in 9, and I've got guard, and I'm in a cage. So, like, it's not too bad if it fails. And if I fail a foul appearance, then also, like, you know, it's kind of not too bad. I could try a 1D on him. Which then gives us a 1D here. Which then gives us a 1D there. So, I think this is a bit ropey. But I'm going to try. Oh, my God. Be mine. Okay, he's got to uphill him. Oh my god, this is ridiculous dicing already. Hello, Chunter. So this is just insane, right? I've tried to block three things with foul appearance and I failed every single time. Ludicrous. Ludicrous dice. <laughs> Complete insane dice. <laughs> I've triple ugly. I've hit, tried to attempt things with foul appearance three times Glorious. and failed every single No, I won't give in until Insane. I'm victorious. Insane. And Insane. I will Insane. defend. I will defend. And now everything gets wrecked. Uh, surfed. It's just stupid. I have to uphill him. To try and push him? No, because I'm st he's still just going to push him and surf him. I mean, this ghoul is getting surfed, whatever happens. There's no way to stop that, actually. Unless I uphill... Yeah, okay, I can uphill him, then one day him. It's the only chance I've got. Okay, skull, of course it is. Brilliant. And removed as well. Yep. So, this is terrible. Absolute, just comedy dicing. Right from the start. Three blocks against foul appearance. Failed them all. Oh, wait, no. This guy's down. Okay, sorry. Four blocks against foul appearance and failed three of them. Uh, not a lot you can do <laughs> when you're facing a team with more skills and nothing you do works. Um, but hello, Chunter. Thank you very much for the raid. And uh, I've been playing goblins. Wow. I wish I was playing goblins right now because it would make the loss easier to bear. But that's, I mean, this just not. Maybe I should have re rolled one of them. Um, maybe I should have re rolled the mummy. The mummy foul appearance fail. I, I, maybe I should re, re roll that fail. I couldn't re roll the one that's for a 1D, right? Because it's already, I'm not too happy about making a 1D. Luckily, he's misplayed this already, so that's good. But, um, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, brilliant. Block, sits. Block saves the mummy. And he wastes a reroll. So that was a good... That was good that he wasted a reroll. Might get away with his horror turn. Might actually get away with his horror turn. Dub skulls. It's, and it's his beast, so he couldn't even re-roll it. <sighs> Amazing. Amazing. Oh my goodness.
Okay, so the most important block is this one. And I just have, it has to work. I have to do it first. God damn it. Oh my god! Damn it! So obviously I could have served a warrior there, right? I could have served a bloater. But, you know, good things happen to other people. Oh! I didn't have to reroll it because I could push him to there. No, it's still not good enough. Still not good enough for you. Well, I should have thought of that. <laughs> if I'd powered him, it might have been good enough, mightn't it? Jesus. To stop him around the back. I mean, I'm not too bothered about hitting the ball because I've got much stuff. Hit that guy. Get uh Hit this one for more assists on the foul, hopefully. Good. Also gets us the angle to surf this bloater. Next turn. Two assist foul. Stun is huge. Okay, and the ball should be relatively safe, shouldn't it? Guess I could have moved this first, right? Maybe I shouldn't have re-rolled that. There's a bit of frustration. Bit of frustration with that hit. Like a power would have just been surfing a bloater. But I guess not that likely to surf him, right? Because there's a good chance of failing the foul appearance. Trying to hit him twice. But I guess no, the first one would have been a chain anyway. So I would have only, it would have only been one hit on a bloater. It would have been quite likely to surf the bloater. But now he's you know he's still in a lot of he's still in a lot of danger right this bloater. So maybe if I'd been a little bit, uh, you know, maybe could have still had three re-rolls, but that was maybe a little bit of a uh, tilt uh, hitting that re-roll, frustration re-roll. The ghoul did just slap the beat and the yeah. Yeah. Five SPPs lost. Okay, pretty annoying. the ball here but what have I got to do move him first and then one two three four five six seven double GFI to do it
You know, I know it's not sensible. But I still really want to do it just because... Just because of just how terrible this game is going, right? Like, it's just absolute disaster. Absolute disaster, this game. So, heavily outbashed, going nowhere, disastrous, disastrous game, dead players, ball easily hittable, so honestly, making a dodge double GFI to surf this guy, <laughs> doesn't seem... Doesn't seem like the best play, but then what else can I do? Like a one assist foul on a on a dude, like it's pathetic. I can't afford it for anyone to get based either. Oh my god! This is insane. <laughs> this is just insane. The, the dice this game out of rerolls. Just stupid. Just absolutely stupid. Stupid game. <laughs> absolutely stupid game of Blood Bowl so far. Ridiculous dice. And now I should still have one reroll left. Except I, uh, I frustration rerolled with the mummy earlier. <sighs> God. Obviously he was fine as well, right? Obviously he was fine. Best player served. Nothing happens to him. <laughs> And he's got a strip ball rotter. Of all the players, of all the useless players in all of the useless worlds, he has a strip ball rotter, <coughs> which gets to use strip ball. <laughs> Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy game so far. Do I, uh, I, I, could, I could have surfed him from there, I can't really surf him from here. I don't think I'll just go there. <laughs> oh god alright let's uh, move this we've got a place to sidestep to not get surfed if, if the mummy bot goes wrong stand him up block with block instant fail block without block Oh, pal. Injured. Good. Good. Turn six. The foul is really tempting, honestly. Oh, 
him, put him on the rookie go. And I guess I put him there in case I fail a pickup. If I get the ball and go to here. Which is kind of safe, isn't it? Actually, yeah. If he powers me, he can he can assist there, which isn't good, is it? Maybe he is better. No, oh, here here seems okay. Jesus. Flip me. So it's turned around a bit now, hasn't it? With, with the surf and I regen, of course. So, in players got breathing room. The problem is only the two turns to score, and no rerolls. We have one lateral square of movement available. The most important thing next turn is to just move the ghoul as soon as possible into range. And worry about everything else after that. He's <laughs> strip ball defender, like what the hell? <laughs> it's hilarious, isn't it? Hey, skull. Hey, skull! All right, amazing, amazing. So this guy is a scoring threat, and then this guy blitzes. This one should have stood. This one should have stood up. Hello. So that covers anyone coming from behind. This one. Does this one have to dodge to get there? Yes. So a punch is better than a dodge. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Where can this guy go? Nowhere that really matters, so it's best to just get a punch out of him. Might have got away with this. Whew. Big guys, mummies aren't big guys, shouldn't they? Mummies aren't big guys. Big guy was a rule that came in to being in third ed blood ball, and it was never given to mummies. Dead bits is annoying, isn't it? Good. Um, three dice with block, not really worth it. I just want that. It's mighty blow, like it's pretty good to be fair. And it's what is it, a 1 in 216 chance? 
what we can do is we can move them and then think about it. So it's a 1 in 216 chance to not score. He's got reserves. So it's just the SPP. It's not affecting the result of the match at all, realistically. It's only for SPP. In that case, not worth it. But if he had 11 players, worth it, I think. But it's just literally not affecting his team at all. He's got two reserves. Yes, it's dropping the wrestle off, but that's not worth the risk. It's all, He's already got blocks, so it's the, the SPP difference doesn't matter much. What, what, what a crazy game. Just completely banged out. You know, should be able to get a draw. He probably won't try to score early. But uh, this is Blood Bowl sometimes. I really like a guard white. I guess I've got to put him on the LOS just because he's got regen, right? Too likely to lose a ghoul. Failing both kills is tragic to have to force me to feel the guard on the other ones. Well, this is the thing, Flute the Cat, right? They weren't... They, yeah, they were Strength 5 players... Mummies existed before Negatrates existed, right? Mummies existed before big guys existed. When mummies were in the game... And funnily enough, <laughs> regeneration didn't ignore 50% of all injuries. <laughs> it ignored 83% of all injuries. It was a 2 plus. <laughs> and then uh, they realised that that was a little bit ridiculous. Funnily enough. Funnily enough, they, they worked out that 2 plus regen was just a tiny little bit overpowered and change that. But yeah, mummies came in before negatrates or big guys or anything, so... I'm still not a fan of big guys. Like, I just... I just wish they were better. Really. Like, they're 140 TV and stuff. 150 TV. Why can't the big guys be your best players? You know? Like, the only way that's true is if, like, you get Morg or, um... Hathark or Varag or whatever, right? Otherwise, you big guys are just liabilities. It's a tragedy. The fluff is the big guys are the stars of the game, which they would be if it was real, wouldn't it? Like Morgan Thorg would be the biggest star in the game. But. But the, the thing is, it wouldn't flip the car. No, nothing to do with Games Workshop selling miniatures is anything to do with the rules. Nothing. The reason that Negatrace exist is probably because somebody thought it would be cool. There's no codex creep that people complain about. There's nothing like that. The rules just don't matter to Games Workshop. Come on, get some KOs back. Nope. Four out of four failed KO rolls. Turning a draw into a probable loss. <laughs> Brilliant. So there's no way to fight him. Nothing I can do whatsoever. Absolutely nothing at all I can do. So all I can do is uh, just defend here to stop getting punched as much and uh, hope that if he scores early um, I can get players back to make it a win. Stupid. Stupid nothing game. Thank you. Thank you Blood Bowl.
That <laughs> happens sometimes, doesn't it? That is the nature of the beast. It is a little children's dice game. This decision looks much, much better now that I'm not getting the mummy fouled. <laughs> there's just no way to fight them, right? You may, you may think that I'm wrong for this, but there's no way I can fight them. They've got too much strength, too much block, too much guard, which is one. It's still too much for my guys. It, mighty blow, I just can't do anything. I've got no players, so... Stay back here, get fouled, gang fouled every turn until the white dies as well. Just brilliant. <laughs> you know, a draw is fine if he if he goes for the draw. If he allows us a draw, that's okay. Fully ready for the death of this guard. Oh, not yet. Didn't break his AV even. Saw the one and thought he'd failed the argue the call, even though there was like no whistle or animation or anything. Oh, this guy can get away from the beast, can't he? He can also get away from the beast. Is that worth it? I could just fail him. Oh, I could have moved there and I could have 1D blitzed out. That was probably the best, wasn't it? Too late now. Don't need a GF. <laughs> God. <laughs> yes, I moved him there and I had to dodge out there. <laughs> he still just gets on board. Oh, flip me. This all of a sudden doesn't even look too bad. Oh, bad spot from him, wasn't it? He should have been one over. Also bad blitz back as well. He should have been one over so I can't tag him with a mummy. I, I should have moved the mummy over last turn. And he's obviously taken aside. 
Well, hey, send off. He should keep his bribe. Oh. <laughs> you rolled a one on the bribe? He should have just kept his bribe. He's got two reserves, right? Turn over his send off, doesn't matter there. So maybe he is not going for the win. Which is probably good for me. Because he probably could have got the win. Try to protect that mummy as much as possible. Good. <laughs> Very good, Hanka. Hello, Kirk. And now all of a sudden, right, he's got four five six seven eight players versus eight players here i mean okay kind of not really because these are going to come back now but he's managed to like lose a fight against nobody <laughs> he's managed to lose a fight versus somebody who wasn't fighting <laughs> which is pretty good oh thanks cock <laughs> Wish I could say the same. <laughs> but you know, still flattering. <laughs> oh, oh shit. Fuck, I forgot about the Titan, I'm sorry. Right, is there, the, the rule set has been... made public for the World Cup and also details of it so I mean you are hot Hancock but that doesn't mean I want to marry you <laughs> hello Dwight he's let me base him that's very weird isn't it She'll pal this one. <laughs> and base this one. And put a blood stepper on the ball. here as well. And stand him up for the beast. And run him to there. Maybe. No, he gets tentacled. Sad that he's got to dodge first and then get held by the tentacles, but never mind. Who are you talking to, Jim? Uh, it was it was uh, J 
J5 saying about the complete absolute lack of diversity. That is the uh, that is the problem with the rules pack. If you think it's a problem, um, yes, six block lizard men will definitely be one of the favourites. One hundred percent. Yeah. Yep. It's just very, very, uh, very tilted towards tier one races, right? Tier one, tier two, and like dwarves are in tier one, so. Oh, who you're taking? Oh my god! It's because I was typing right, and I said sorry for the typing. So I was like, "Who are you talking to?" That's what I read there. What am What am I? Who am I taking? Or what? I, I think that was more as so a what am I taking? I'm thinking dark elves. I mean, whether you think the tiering was right is uh, is weird, right? Because what means right? Right means what are you trying to achieve is the question, right? What are you trying to achieve with the rules pack? If you want uh, diversity, is this make like you know what do you want, right? Like that, there's rules for stacking in it, but they must not want anybody to stack anything because it costs you a fucking secondary. So stacking is just an idiotic thing to do in this rule set. So therefore, maybe you just shouldn't allow stacking if you don't want people to st stack, you know. Right? If you don't want people to stack, maybe just don't let them stack. <laughs> Is what I'd have done. But if you're letting them stack, then let them stack. Uh, okay, so we just need a pow here. Or a both down. It's pushes. Of course it is. He's up to there. He can go down there to stop the dodge off being as good. He can run all the way around. It's a double GFI. I mean, that's better than doing a dodge, right? Or I could just cancel the assist. But I think I'd rather pow in between two players. Maybe I should have rerolled the hit trying to get a pow. I've got three rerolls. I probably should have rerolled that hit. There you got the power. <laughs> of course. Can dodge off and try and stand there. Okay, good. <laughs> The zombie is off. Right, it should be balanced racially. <laughs> oh my god, Hank. Um, so, hello, basically do nothing. Um, so, yeah, so, like, that's the thing. Like, I mean, you can't. Right, so this is the thing. So saying balanced racial makeups, do I? What's balanced, right? Should there be any? Should there be any goblins? I don't think so, because they're rubbish, <laughs> right? How do you make it so that people want to play goblins? <laughs> like they're rubbish. So if you make them good, then like how do you make them get a fifty? But if you want goblins to have a fifty percent win rate, then. They do that just by killing half of killing the team half the time, right? Like they can't win by playing good blood bowl, really. So like it's just weird, like you know, it means you like give them, you just give them. A, oh god, he gets the power. Needed a full power, gets it. Like it's just weird. It's just all weird. Oh, good. 
Um, I gotta say, it's pretty annoying to um, to get powered and AV broken there. Otherwise, I could have blitzed this guy and picked up the ball and be gone. Oh, what? It showed him up as getting free from the tentacles, but he hadn't. He's still there. Are you... That is the most trolling... Most trolling thing ever. <laughs> How horrible is that? How absolutely horrible is that? Right, this is the square to go, and I've got guard on both. Well, I've got guard on both here, right? So I could... I could go there and 2D him and then he blitzes. That that is actually better, isn't it? Yeah, so we go in there. Good. Kinda need the power here. Get it. Could make a block. I could block with him, and then I could like move this guy somewhere. Blitz him. I don't want to stay near the near the stripper <laughs> or near this guy really. Seeing as we've got rerolls, I think I just make GFIs, right? Oh my god. insane isn't it that's just insane that's just insane man <laughs> I guess I could have counted squares right one two three four five GFI GFI so I did actually have to get over the halfway line to not get blitzed by the strip but would he have blitzed me with strip maybe not maybe I shouldn't have made that GFI right Maybe I shouldn't have. Maybe he was much more likely to have, like, just blitzed and then based me. But still, it's that much harder for him to, like, you know, if he blitzes with this guy and then comes to there, like, he can only base me and I can dodge away, right? Like, to, for him to bracket me, he couldn't bracket me by doing the GFIs. If I'm here, he can just hit me. Or bracket me and stuff. Looks like it could be a win though, but um, this guy is missed next, and this guy. What is it? it? Is minus passing ability. Okay, that's no problem at all. <laughs> of course, he's picked up the ball. He's <laughs> course he's picked up the ball. Um, and you know, if I'd made one of these blocks first and moved that guy, maybe I should have done that as well. So there's a lot of order, turn ordering things that could have been done better. Oh, he's just gonna fucking win, isn't he? Fuck me. Fuck me. Okay, block him with block. He double GFI so he can block him. And then that gives him the 3 plus out to blitz him. Ooh, or he could just 1D blitz him. Winning 1-1s one are the worst. The 1-1 one -one win. Those 1-1 one -one wins are the worst, Timmy. You know that. I beat you 1-1 one -one once. <laughs> You hated it. <laughs> End of an era, wasn't it?
I think I just 1D the ball. Because everything else is like pretty hard to base this gun. Fantastic, thanks, Dimmy. Made the dodge outrageous. I just take the ball down here. <laughs> He's out of rerolls. I did lose 1 1, yeah, you're right. Shit. I did lose 1 1. Yeah, I, d I don't know, right? There's a lot of things I could have done there. This guy could have double GFI'd, then he could have 2D'd him. But then that's almost the same as him just 1D'ing, right? And then this guy could have could have dodged and based this guy. That's like two three pluses. It's hard. But I get maybe last turn I should have made that block with block right, and then moved that mummy. And then if this mummy would like been here last turn, then all of a sudden, you know, I could have blitzed. The zombie and based him with a mummy and then and then move the ghoul around so it just shows you like that kind of cumulative effect of positioning so even though this block with block was irrelevant to the rest of the turn i probably should have started with it just to get that other mummy moving obviously double wanting the gfi was unlucky but um i think i had to make it because he would have hit me he would it would have one dice me with straight so i think it made sense to just clear it but I hadn't counted squares. I just felt that it was correct. You just, just generally want to get as far away as possible, right, in that situation. Something silly did happen, yeah. But, but you know, like, I was always going to try and stop later, right? Like, the, the silliness happened because, like, he divided his team on purpose, didn't he? Like, he split his team. He split three players away to, like, blitz and foul and stuff. My guy, oh, my God. It's got no rerolls. Six plus pass. Good. I think if I just tried to defend normally, it would have been a loss. I think I did the right thing. It happened because I tried to dodge away from uh, tentacles. I could surf his guy, but obviously surfing his guy is completely wrong. Because then I won't get any SPPs. And killing his player doesn't affect me in any way. So, better to try and get the SPPs from the cars. It's absolutely, categorically incorrect to surf him. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go um, the one who survived got the MVP good for him but very sad that the other ghoul died. honestly this is one of the things about about progression that I don't like because this game just feels like a loss right this guy got a permanent injury it's probably not going to matter too much but it might matter the other white died, it's five SPPs gone, and it's like, you know, it's the time that you've got to play to get back those SPPs. And it's just all... Depressing's the wrong word, but it's it's so, you know, just tiring, you know. Skilling the players up and they die, it's just... Feels like you're just banging your head against a wall all the time, doesn't it? So, got 12 players for the next game. Missing the two best ghouls means that the bad ghoul can score twice and get block. And uh, still just saving up for block on the mummy and mighty blow on the white. Um, so yeah, I've, I've got. I think I'll keep the block sidestep right, keep him for now, until this guy gets block, and then I can sack the block sidestep and start trying to random him and get a more efficient player. So it's not it's not too bad to have this guy injured. It's just going to make next game hard with only two ghouls. So there you go. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.